Jay Ryder. You know I'm not going to bust a tear because you're leaving, but I am going to feel bad that you're gone. I do enjoy listening to Blog Talk Radio. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to participate lately, but, um, you know, I understand. There's several reasons why I have been gone a little bit, and, you know, yes, I fly. She sort of let the cat out of the bag a little bit, but, um, it's good when people understand their limit. When people know, okay, you know what, this is becoming boring, or... This is not serious. Like you were saying, uh, the radio show does seem to be a more serious, you know, way to get the message out. Um, you know why I don't come on the radio show no more than that first time I did. And um, it's because of hijackers. Other than that, you know, I love your show and I love watching your show. I may not have agreed with everything that you said over the times and some of the videos, but I never had nothing ill or bad to say about you. Um, when you go through the history of the Jay Ryder videos that were up there, uh, it was a lot of good stuff. Personally, my personal opinion is only my opinion. I truly believe you should have left the videos there. For those who don't know, you know, the Jay Ryder, they might have heard or whatever. With leaving your videos there, you would have gave them a little more insight. Because you can't, the point is, no one is the judge of anyone. But you can't judge someone based on one body of work. Now, the videos you had there showed a wide range. They show when you agree and disagree. They show when you contradict yourself, when you don't contradict yourself. They show when you correct yourself from mistakes that you've made. Um, to use YouTube as pretty much a commercial site to commercialize your blog talk is a cool idea. You know, I hope you have all the success in what you do. And I hope failure is nowhere near you in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to wish you the best, and we will see you again on this YouTube, because YouTube is addictive. Just hearing your voice is not good enough for some people. To see your face match the voice is to truly hear Jay Ryder. I can listen on the radio and check you and Tina out, you know, listen to that blog talk radio and, and you know, enjoy that. But to see you on a video is even better. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Um, I like that thing you did with Tina when you were showing uh, the picture of her and her family and trying to get some clarity. YouTube has become a realm for buffoons and idiots and people who just want to talk shit. Um, to build a talk show where you can show your face and experience things and and give them the true emotion is the best part of YouTube to throw that part of you away is sort of damaging and and I'm not saying it's damaging to you in any way shape or form it's damaging to those buffoons and idiots out there who want to battle you or or talk shit about you um, there was a period of time where you were beefing with someone who I agree with and I didn't comment on those videos. I thought, you know, I thought that one of the videos that he did was kind of in poor taste, but I can understand where he was coming from, so I never did comment on that. The thing about YouTube is YouTube is like the stock market. You can see it going up and you can see it going down. I think all these new upgrades and, and shit they call themselves fixing YouTube is actually hurting YouTube. I miss the part where I can click into you know my account and look at how many times people have seen my videos once that died that pretty much killed me because to believe and see how many to, to believe that you're doing something positive and to see how many people are hitting you every day was one of the reasons why I did this YouTube because wow I've had a hundred video views or a hundred channel views and then I went from the hundred to the thousand then from the thousand to twenty thousand twenty thousand and it goes up and you feel 
that your message is coming across when you're getting your message across so thank you for your time that you spent trying to enlighten people from your perspective that's one thing about you you did uh, research you you know you, you checked into what you did uh, me personally I've never been a research type of guy I only speak from feeling and emotion and experience you know I don't write scripts I don't do none of that shit everything you hear from me comes from my brain now live now that's one thing I loved about your show and being on the show the one time I was on your show um, I spoke to some few a few people that you know who are in contact with you and you know I wanted to be on one of your shows just recently and so you know I said hey when it's time hit me on the phone I'll be there um, I can see what you're doing I understand what you're doing and I wish you all the best on your journey so when you come back you hit me uh, you get my phone number you know who to get it from you call me up you know when you can if I'm available I'll be on this show um, there's one more last thing I want to tell you I already told you thank you I already said good luck I could say you've been tubed but you'll be back so I'll tube you later um, never stop pushing your perspective never stop telling people what you see never stop showing people what you see reporting on what you see and hear because there's one thing you will never get from all that research you do boss the perception of now research is based on things that have happened not of things, not of things that are going to happen, or things that are happening now. You can report on things that you see right now, and there can be no research done on that. That's where I try to come off on YouTube. I report on right now, based on what I've seen. Put it in my computer, analyze it, spit it out. That's how I do mine. I appreciate the time we spent arguing, fighting, battling, and befriending each other. True honesty comes from within. I see an honest man in you. And um, never stop. Don't stop. Don't quit. Once you quit, then you've quit. You gave up. No one else gave up but you. Once you quit, it's all over don't quit don't stop be somebody we are all bred born uh, what's the word manipulated cheated lied to all of us no matter what color you are no matter what uh, what is it ethnicity we are somebody and I don't care how much of nothing you have or how much of everything you got. You are somebody. And never let nobody, no man, no woman, no child, dis or disrespect you in any way, shape, or form. I watched a video the other day on YouTube when a guy was saying, I guess it was a, a preparation video. It's, you know, for people who's first time YouTubers. This is the shit that I needed uh, when I first started YouTube. Nothing prepares you for the hate. Hate is the easiest thing anybody can do. Don't let it affect you. Um, Jay, do what it do. Good luck. May whatever God you pray to or whatever, whatever, be on your side. Life is a hell of a lot easier when you have a whole bunch of people with you. The ride is best driven on a road laid smooth and the sun is always hot at its highest spot in the sky when it rains it pours and at night time it gets dark when the sea gets cold the water's cold I made a little investment because people told me my videos started lacking so I went and spent a good 700 bucks on a camera.